Alright, what's going on guys? It's Valrico here, and today we are playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer uh, on the PC. Uh, and I want to talk about Call of Duty. I got a few topics to talk about. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, one thing that I want to talk about is, even though I think that the new Call of Duty uh, is not trash, but the business practices with that Call of Duty and the way that they're gonna definitely I don't know if they've done it yet but they will put official guns and supply drops and all those maneuvers where you gotta pay all this extra money you don't just get the guns and the supply drops I think in this game they actually did put guns in DLC like one or two guns um, but those were in DLC so you buy the DLC that everybody bought the DLC back then to get the new maps to keep the game fresh they all got the guns uh, straight up and I think one of them was called the peacekeeper the peacemaker I don't remember but I do remember getting this was like the first Call of Duty where they were putting guns in DLC which was fine I didn't mind it being in DLC because everybody was gonna get it anyways so it didn't matter oh my goodness right here I go on one of the most savage kill streaks in my Call of Duty career I mean I'm just, I'm just cleaning the floor with these guys just mopping the floor getting an airstrike Looking for a spot to call it in. Trying to figure out what button it was. I couldn't remember exactly. Calling the airstrike. I think it, uh, I get no kills. But in a few other gameplays, I'm going to put in this uh, this commentary. I go to work. By the way, this dragonfly. Watch this dragonfly. I, when I, what a loser. What a bum. Oh my gosh, what a play. Had to shake the screen on that one. But watch this guy get outplayed right here. Watch this. Okay, he misses. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to pick up a gun. Come back think about it and then he's gonna come up the stairs and I'm gonna end up killing him with the dragonfly watch this shit right here disgusting this dragonfly goes to work but anyways I could, by the way I was gonna say when you call in this dragonfly I honestly thought that it was gonna hover around your head I didn't realize it was gonna be like a mini chopper gunner I didn't really know how to descend and ascend and any of those things I just started flying and shooting and this thing goes to work but anyways so back to the point I was trying to make before I was rudely interrupted by that beastly kill streak. I want to modify it actually and say that World War II was halfway trash. The reason why is it takes way too many bullets to kill people and that just makes it unfun when you're shooting somebody seven times and then you just die. It's just, it gets annoying after a while and that'll make people quit playing the game. But I don't want, I, I don't want to invest any time into those, these new Call of Duties because of the, kill, the, the business practices. I'm going to say kill streaks for some reason. <laughs> this fucking kill streak right here, boy. My goodness. I got all of it, bro. All of it until the thing blew up. Um, but yeah, I don't want to invest my time in those new Call of Duties with their bad business practices. And that brings me to my point. My main point in the video is I still got to get uh, the Call of Duty out of my system. I still got to play a little bit of Call of Duty. I have to. It's just something. It's really just target practice for me. I like to get on Call of Duty, run around and shoot people without having to think too much and then it warms me up to when I go play Rainbow Six Siege or Battlefield or something like that. I like to play this game where I can just run around and get kills. You know, it basically is warm up practice. Uh, you know, it's like a, a scrimmage to get my aim warmed up before I go play a serious game like Rainbow Six Siege or something like that because I just I just like to and, and you know, I don't want to play against bots or something like that. I want to play against real people. But there is no team deathmatch in like a Rainbow Six or something like that. So you just gotta you gotta go on the Call of Duty and run around, get some kills, and have a good time. And PC is a great platform. It has so many more benefits than downsides. But the one downside is a lot of people don't play Call of Duty on PC because they they just it's trash. They believe it's trash, so they just won't play it. And another thing is, you know, some of the Call of Duties has server browser. I hate server browser as a former console player server browser is trash 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 I just want to click a button that says team deathmatch it finds me a lobby we get in it I don't want to have server browser where I'm shitting on somebody and then they can kick me out and ban me from the server I don't want to get into a server browser where we're in a dedicated server fine but now I'm lagging okay now I'm lagging all over the place because it's 200 ping and I'm getting shot you know when people run around corners lag compensation all this dumb shit so server browser is trash I hate it in every game I wish it wasn't in battlefield 1 
I cannot stand it. Server browser is dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Now, some people will disagree with that, but that's fine. We all have disagreements. That's fine. But in my opinion, server browser is trash. For the one reason and one reason... Oh, I school this guy with this shield right here. Oh, I school this guy. Keep watching. I get him a couple times in this gameplay. I totally school this guy. Um, I, the one reason only... I don't want to get booted from a with this move. I don't want to get booted from a lobby because I'm playing so good. Like if server browser was in this match right here, these last two matches I'm putting up, I'd already been banned. I wouldn't be able to play no more Call of Duty because I'm booted. I'm booted for life. So, anyways, uh, I know people are gonna wonder why are you not playing Modern Warfare 2? Well, I am playing Modern Warfare 2. I make I want to mix it up and have what a what an airstrike. I want to have multiple different Call of Duties I can play. That people are on most people play this call of duty though this is the biggest call of duty pretty much on um pc and i would recommend that anybody that plays on pc and wants to play a good call of duty with about you know 2,000 people on it at any given time except for nighttime at like three in the morning it'll drop down to about 1,900 sometimes lower than that but it's not like they're not gonna be able to find the lobby a team deathmatch or something like that during the day it's popping though but if you want to play a good call of duty go ahead and get black ops 2 off of King 1 or something like that for the small $12. That's what I did. And you'll have a fucking great time. Also, they have FOV slider on this game, so you can have 90 FOV, which you don't have in Modern Warfare 2, which really sucks. You gotta run around 65 FOV, all zoomed in and shit. It sucks, but... I will continue to play Modern Warfare 2, but hey, the thing about Modern Warfare 2 is you're only gonna have as good, time, as good of a time as the other team allows you to have. And what I mean by that is, if they all start noob tubing, it ruins everybody's. Uh, look at this guy. Steal with the shield, bro. School. Get out of here. Stop it. Uh, if everybody starts noob tubing, it's going to ruin the fun because people are just going to be blowing up all over the place and shit like that. But, you know, I mainly wanted to get Modern Warfare 2 just to prove a point to myself, just a personal challenge. And that was to get the tactical noob. On PC, and I want to get footage of it too to put it on my YouTube channel. I just wanted to get the tactical nuke on PC because uh, I've done it on console, but to show that I have really gotten good at mouse and keyboard to my own self, to show it to my own self, the tactical nuke is a really hard thing to do, especially on Modern Warfare 2. It's very hard. So I was proud of myself for getting the tactical nuke. I ended up getting it on um, Underpass. A team deathmatch. Very hyped about that. Um, and it was just, uh, you know, that's really the main reason I wanted to get MW2 was because I wanted to get that nuke. Now, when I play, I don't really have nothing to go for. And then the streaks are are very good. But, um, I don't know, that game is... I noticed when I was playing this Call of Duty, this game, this game was way more run and gun than I remember. And it is way, way more running gun than uh, Modern Warfare 2. A lot of hiding is going on in Modern Warfare 2. When you go back and play them both back to back, you're like, oof. On this game, especially with Nuketown, people are running all over the place. Shots are being fired. It's it's action packed. This is a running gun Call of Duty. It's my style. This is what I want to do. I want to run around and kill people. I don't want to sit there posted up with the scar age i've been there and done that i just really wanted to get the new crew point damn he blew my head off with that snipe rifle and i'll still upload footage of it i'll play it every now and again but this will probably be my main call of duty i really like this call of duty look at me as a super duper filthy scumbag killing this guy and stealing his counter uav just a dick i am i love it just an asshole so um with that being said hopefully you enjoyed uh, the gameplay and the commentary. I don't really want to call this commentary. I really don't. We covered a lot of bases. I'm still a little bit sick. So my voice sounds a little bit uh, weird and a little bit shaky. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to George Clooney it over here and hype, uh, you know, fucking voice act or whatever the fuck. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to spice it up over here. Uh, I'm still a little bit sick. I'm almost over it though. So, anyway. With that being said, hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. By the way, another thing I was going to say before I end this video is I'm probably going to do a Let's Play of Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 2's uh, campaign. So with that being said, look, be on the lookout for that.
Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'm out of this bitch. Peace.